hi guys welcome back to mercedes channel i am back with another video i am here to talk about vola cream and my ins my outs my little advice and why i use vola cream why i like to use vola cream and i'm basically going to be comparing these two brands vola cream which is going to be comparing loyal and the honey pot there are two Volvo creams. Just to give you guys a little backstory on my me and my experience and history with Volvo creams. I have been using Volvo creams for the past year to year and a half. What I like about Volvo creams is that I feel like it gives your vagina that extra oomph moisture your girl don't lack moisture but there's nothing like hydrating moisture i'm not a licensed professional either so everything i'm telling you guys is just based off of my experience um so if you <laughs> disclaimer one thing that i have noticed from using vulva creams is i feel like i tend to stay fresher throughout the day people use vulva creams differently in my case i use it every single day unless i'm now I'm a woman that's going to be experiencing her period again. No, I wasn't pregnant. No, I didn't have a baby. I was on the shot. No longer on the shot. So I'm experiencing my first cycle in over a year. And it's it's interesting because I'm going these days without using the boba cream. So I can't be codependent on it, which I'm fine. When I'm on my period, I don't put nothing down there besides a pad and I keep it. I don't spray nothing. I just let her clean herself because that's what she's doing basically. She's crying. My uterus is crying. I like to use a vulva cream when I'm not on my period. After I get out of the shower, it's just a part of my everyday hygiene routine. I have taken a liking over the years to the Honey Pot Coat vulva cream. Honey Pot's vulva cream is, she's really that girl. I guess this is a spoiler, but it's like until I find something else comparable just to add in my collection, not to replace her with, because I'm not looking to replace her, even though she has gone up because she used to be $9.99 and now she's $12.99. So Honey Pot, what's going on? But I digress. So I have the Honey Pot's vulva cream right here. And when I tell you she is just that girl, like she is. She is just that girl. She has mint in here, coconut oil, and lavender. You smell the lavender the most. And as you can see, she's pretty thin, so she gets used pretty often. She's plant-based, of course, and all Honey Pot's uh, products, I believe, are vegan as well. When you apply vulva cream, of course, it needs to be on a clean vagina. But I have tested throughout the day if I felt like I needed that extra freshness to, of course, wipe with the tissue then wipe with a wipe and then I go in I've actually reapplied this maybe one to two more times throughout the day and I do experience more freshness so yeah I think definitely the smell of this vulva cream takes a minute to get used to you're going to smell the lavender I do not feel the mint you basically put a dime size it has the instructions here on the back which is lovely um, that it provides it says everything on the back if you need any reassurance and it comes in a cute little box packaging's all cute love it love it love it I recommend 10 out of 10 this helps with keeping her down there all nice and fresh practicing good hygiene helps her as well so this is not the end all be all it's a plethora of things that could save you from her getting funky I literally make sure I keep her on deck I will say too just a couple of tips when it comes to dealing with her sometimes the consistency is off now I used to think like I must have got a bad batch or something like what's going on since it has coconut oil and coconut oil's consistency really changes with the temperature that your room is in or with the temperature where you're keeping this in so if it's hot outside it's going to be a little bit runny just a little bit it might be clumped up because you're going to see the clumps of the coconut oil in it but when it's colder outside sometimes it gets too hard now right now like my room is probably around 66 to 70 degrees i'll say and temperature which is perfect i don't have any issues the consistency is just how i want it sometimes when it does get hard to come out i do unscrew the cap we'll take it out that way and sometimes that's just easier i had a bottle that literally no matter what temperature it was in my room and it changed with the climate outside 
it was just the same consistency no matter what. I just screwed the top off every single time and I didn't have any issues. I worked with it. It was fine. I don't know 100% in all the listed benefits of using a vulva cream. I know that you're not supposed to insert it in your vagina. That's what a suppository is for, which I use those as well. As for suppositories, I've been using suppositories for a while now. This is the brand of suppository that I use. This brand right here, PHG, works for me. It just helps with keeping the vagina all nice and healthy it's good to use after especially after like menstruation and it's good to use like after you work out it's also good to use after you are done taking in intercourse it's uh, good to use for that as well basically another thing to add to your regimen to help with the overall health of your vagina suppositories are something that i wish i knew when i was in college i wish that i knew about suppositories i wish i knew a lot about a lot of things so if you're picking up on this do your research when it comes to suppositories do what's ever best for your body try it out try different brands figure out which one you like best and you'll be able to tell this one Take a shower, you put her up there after you worked out whatever list of activities I listed. She does things for you. PhD is definitely a brand that I recommend. I feel like they're the best. Even when you go on their website, they have a list of different questions and answers. So I'm sure if you have a question, they can answer it. It does more than any other company as far as that goes. So check it out. Moving on to the Loyal Volvo Cream. So this is what this one looks like. I had really high hopes for this. I don't know, maybe it's the honey and the citrus is not a good combination for me. This kind of made me smell funky and I wasn't funky. On here it says what their vulva cream does. It's to nourish, hydrate, and balance. Calm and soothe skin, restores moisture, promotes healthy pH balance. I saw that and I was like, oh, that's cool because the Honey Pot doesn't have that on its bottle or on its box that it comes in that I know of, that I remember. And it's an essential oil moisturizer. It has a cute list of things on the back. So this is what the back of the bottle looks like, which is cute. Talking about your vagina's love language. A pro tip. Add to your self-care routine after shaving, waxing, or washing. Yeah, vulva cream is the key after after shaving. That and tinted skin. I, I like the packaging, overall packaging of this. And I also really appreciated how no matter what the temperature is, the consistency was always the same as far as this one goes. It just brought kind of a funky smell out of me. And I just really didn't appreciate it. She also has... A lot more ingredients in her than the honey pot does this here is the list of ingredients compared the honey pot literally just has their list of ingredients right here there's only three things compared to 50 million things that kind of let me know like mm, maybe I shouldn't be applying this I don't even think I'm going to finish this I'm gonna try cuz it wasn't cheap okay for a vulva cream it wasn't cheap I think this might have been like $18. I could be wrong. Versus $13 versus $12.99, $13. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me once again. It was nice seeing you guys. Nice talking to you guys. Thank you for supporting me. And until next time.